Hello students, today we are discussing about nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is a macronutrient. It is a gaseous form present in atmosphere. Mostly 72% of nitrogen is present in atmosphere. But all plants they require nitrogen for its uh, um, synthesis of amino acids, synthesis of proteins and also genetic material. Synthesis of genetic material, nitrogen is required. So that, but nitrogen is present in atmosphere, atmosphere, but cannot, plants cannot absorb directly nitrogen directly into the plants. It cannot absorb. So they depend on others. Right. So this nitrogen from atmosphere, nitrogen in the cycle, nitrogen enter into the soil and soil from soil to plants and uh, after lifespan of the plant, decaying that material and that nitrogen again enter into the atmosphere it is a continuous process so that it is called as nitrogen cycle it is called as nitrogen cycle in this cycle there are five steps are there in this process of nitrogen cycle there are five steps are there number one nitrogen fixation number one is nitrogen fixation nitrogen assimilation ammonification nitrification and fifth one is denitrification denitrification the first step is nitrogen fixation so nitrogen fixation means fixation of nitrogen from atmosphere to soil is called nitrogen fixation inorganic substance to organic sorry in the soil is called nitrogen fixation so there are two process two steps are there in the nitrogen fixation uh, one is a biological process and other one is biological process a biological process and other one is biological process. A biological means without living organisms, how nitrogen is uh, fixed in that soil. So this is also called as physical process or physical method. In this process, during the thundering and lightning, during the rainy season, thunders and lightnings are formed. At that time, during the thunders and lightning, nitrogen combines with oxygen to form 2NO nitric acid. And again, it convert, it reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide, 2NO2. And that, at, the time, uh, at the same time, these 2NO2 react with water molecules to form nitrous acid and HNO3. HNO2 and HNO3. That HNO2 and HNO3 reach the soil and react uh, in that uh, soil with uh, uh, calcium and potassium salts that is alkali substances and form its nitrates HNO3 plus calcium or potassium whatever it may be uh, alkalic substances they form calcium nitrate or potassium nitrates in soils so whatever it may be in this process during the thunders and lightnings environmental nitrogen reach the soil that is called as a a biological nitrogen fixation a biological nitrogen fixation right in the second step biological method biological method in this process prokaryotes are involved so environmental nitrogen fix into the soil with the help of prokaryotes with the help of prokaryotes is called biological method so in this process the organisms which are involved in this biological process is called biological nitrogen fixers biological nitrogen fixers also called as diazotrophy also called as diazotrophy the these are diazotrophy means the prokaryote organisms which are involved in nitrogen fixation those are called as diazotrophy there are several organisms are there some are free living bacteria free living bacteria like agitobacter clostridium agitobacter and clostridium these are free living bacteria which are involved in nitrogen fixation from atmosphere to the soil so free living bacteria agitobacter and clostridium right and then second one is blue green algae blue green algae example is nostoc and anabina these are also involved in the nitrogen fixation from atmosphere to soil and symbiotic bacteria symbiotic bacteria rhizobium best example is a rhizobium rhizobium is a rod shaped bacterium 
rhizobium is a rod shaped bacterium present in nodular roots of Fabaceae family members. Nodular roots of Fabaceae family members. Rhizobium, it is a rod shaped bacterium present in nodular roots of all Fabaceae family members. They are involved in nitrogen fixation from atmosphere to the soil. Then soil fertility is increased. It gives more yielding to plants. And rhizobium, it is a rod shaped bacterium not only present in Fabaceae family members, these are also present in other plants like Alpha Alpha, Sweet Clover, Sweet Pea, Lentils, Garden Pea, Broad Bean, Clover Bean, etc. In those plants also present nodules in that nodule rhizobium is present it fix environmental nitrogen into the soil and soil fertility is increased right so uh, according to this uh, ulnus it is a non-legume plant ulnus is a non-legume plant but it shows nodules ulnus is a non-legume plant but it shows nodules in that nodule a microorganism is present that is Frankia. It fix environmental nitrogen. Normally, nodules, rhizobium present in nodular roots, those are involved in nitrogen fixation along with other the other bacterium also, other microbes also there. That is a Frankia. It is a nitrogen fixer present in Alnus plant. In this plant, it shows nodular roots, but it is not belongs to Fabaceae family members. Right, Alnus. It is a non-legume plant. It shows nodular, nodular roots. In the nodule, a microbe is present that is a frankia, which is involved in nitrogen fixation. Right. And so this is our first step that is nitrogen fixation. So, nitrogen fixed in the soil in the form of two steps. One is a biological and biological process. Whatever it may be, nitrogen is reach the soil. In that, second step is nitrogen assimilation. Nitrogen assimilation. So, absorption of nitrogen by plants is called nitrogen assimilation. Absorption of nitrogen by plants is called nitrogen assimilation. So, there nitrates and ammonia is formed. That nitrate and ammonia convert into organic nitrogen. When nitrogen or nitrates or ammonia uh, when obtaining or absorbing by plant, that nitrogen is converted into organic structure, organic substances, right, in plant body, right, that is called organic nitrogen, right, and also when that plants are eaten by animals, when plants are eaten by animals, that organic nitrogen is again converted into organic nitrogen in animal body, uh, animal's body. So, whatever it may be in plants and animals, nitrogen is present now in the form of organic substances. Organic substances that is called as nitrogen assimilation, absorption of nitrogen. Nitrogen in the form of nitrates or ammonia. Then they in those body it convert into organic nitrogen. That is called nitrogen assimilation. Right. And the third step is ammonification. Ammonification. So now nitrogen is present in the form of organic nitrogen in plant body or animal body. After its life cycle from dead bodies of plants and animals, dead plants and animals after decaying that plant bodies or animal bodies, that organic nitrogen convert into ammonia. Convert into ammonia. So, conversion of organic nitrogen into ammonia is called ammonification. Conversion of organic nitrogen from dead bodies of plants and animals into ammonia is called ammonification. So, it is a mineralization process. That is a mineralization process in soil. Right. So, in this step, some organisms are involved like bacillus species. Bacillus vulgaris. Bacillus ramosus, Bacillus vulgaris, Bacillus mycoides. There are three microbes, three bacterium are involved in dead and decaying of dead bodies of plants and animals. Those in this step, organic nitrogen from dead bodies convert into ammonia is called ammonification. It is a mineralization process. Third step is mineralization process. In this step, 
Several organisms are involved, those are Bacillus species, Bacillus ramosus, Bacillus vulgaris, and Bacillus mycoides. These are involved in decaying of material in the soil. Okay, right? So, third step, fourth step is nitrification. Fourth step is nitrification. Now, the nitrogen is present in the form of ammonia in soil then it convert into nitrification nitrates so conversion of ammonia into nitrate is called ammonification conversion of ammonia into nitrates is called ammonification so there are two steps are there to form nitrates directly ammonia directly cannot convert into nitrates there are two steps are there in the first step ammonia convert into nitrites Ammonia converts into nitrites in the presence of nitrosomonas or nitrococcus. Right? In the presence of these microbes, ammonia convert into nitrites. These nitrites cannot absorb by plants. Right? So that it again convert into nitrates. So in the second step, nitrites convert into nitrates in the presence of nitrobacter. Nitrobacter. So here in the first step, ammonia convert into nitrites by nitrosomonas and nitrococcus. Whatever it may be. Nitrosomonas and nitrococcus. In the presence of those organisms, ammonia convert into nitrites and the second step, nitrites convert into nitrates. Right? In the presence of nitrobacter. So these nitrates are available form of absorbing capacity to plants. Plants can absorb nitrates only, not nitrites. Now plants absorb these nitrates and it, it gives more yielding, more yielding. But several times other organisms are, they are involved in the denitrification of that nitrogen or nitrates. So conversion of nitrates into gaseous form that is N2 is called denitrification conversion of nitrates from soil to again environment in the form of gaseous form that is n2 nitrates conversion into nitrogen it is a reverse process to nitrification in this process it is opposite to that processes so denitrification means conversion of nitrates into nitrogen that is gaseous form so in this process several organisms are involved those are Thiobacillus denitrification. Thiobacillus denitrificans. Pseudomonas denitrificans. Pseudomonas denitrificans. Third one, Micrococcus denitrificans. There are three organisms are involved in denitrification process. Conversion of nitrates into nitrogen gaseous form. That is uh, denitrification. Okay. Here, three organisms are involved: Thiobacillus denitrificans, Pseudomonas denitrificans, Micrococcus denitrificans. Right? Again, it is a nitrogen enter into the atmosphere in the form of gaseous form, and these nitrogen from atmosphere again they fix in the form of biological or abiological method into the soil, and it is a continued process. Fixation, assimilation by plants, ammonification from dead and decaying bodies, nitrification, conversion of ammonia into nitrates, that is called nitrification, and again nitrates convert into nitrogen, is called denitrification. It is a continued process, so that it is called nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle, this is about nitrogen cycle, not in five steps. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment my channel. Thank you.